Hi, this is Johnny Pie Bucket, and today we have a hard drive right here. It's a hard drive from the 90s or early 2000s, I'm not really sure. Um, it is a Samsung hard drive. It has 30.6 gigabytes, and um, I'm trying to find the year on it. 2000. It was made in 2000. And that's that. And we are going to be taking this thing apart today. Because it's actually not my hard drive. I found it in a trash area. My mom won't let me use it because it has somebody else's stuff on it. So I thought, why not take it apart? So, here we are. With all my tools. Right over here. And we will be taking it apart in just a second. And we're back. And here it is. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. I'm gonna check just to make sure. Yep. Okay. Um here we are. First screwdriver we'll be using be this. Let's see if it actually fits. Because it seems to fit for everything. Nope. It always seems to fit for every single thing. This one's broken. Great. Too big, definitely. Without even having to dry. Oh, man. As you can see, I have a blister. Oh, yeah. It hurts. The last time I tried to take something apart. gonna fit. Well, I'll get back to you guys after I open this. Okay, and now I figured out how to do it. That's how you do it. Since it's pretty much impossible. You just hold this tight. Go in here. Oh, that wasn't a good sign. And loosen up the first one. It's nice and easy. Those are all the screws I've taken out so far. And looks like there's more. Not more right here. Trying to speed this up. I only plan to show you guys the last screw that I undid. I just knew that there was this many. It's probably gonna end up being more.
Um, this made a really weird sound. back to you once I found out a way how to get this thing open. Hey guys, I've got it apart now. Um, well, what you have to do in order to take it apart, I accidentally ripped this off because it's so delicate it was just placed by that. I accidentally ripped it off when I picked it off. Um, you have to look around for the stickers, like when this thing was, um, up here, or up here. Um, you have to look around for the stickers, warranty stickers, and probably the label sticker. Those have screws under them, so that they can tell if you open it. You take those out, just two, and all these ones on the sides, and you're done. Now this is what's inside it, and now we're going to take this apart even further. Let's take out the disc first. This is actually really delicate, so you never want to take apart a hard drive that you're planning to use. Oh, man. You never ever want to take apart a hard drive that you're planning to use, because chances are, if you do end up getting it back together, you probably could. If it's not, if you watched this video on how to, um, then it probably won't end up working. Because if you even just put a smudge on this on these discs, and I can screw it up. It even says on the label, do not open it because very, very sensitive parts. And that is true. And if you really want to take apart hard drive that you're using, put all your data back up on the external hard drive. disk. It really doesn't look like something they store data on, but, yep, there it is. I have to. In order to get the second disk off, I have to take out these, I believe, are the magnets. They're really awesome magnets. Actually, really powerful. You don't want to hurt yourself playing with them. Keep a magnets collection full of like awesome magnets. What the fuck? This thing won't. Okay. Wonder what the heck just happened there. As you can see, it is actually kind of hard to take it apart. Here it is. powerful magnets, you do not want to hurt yourself playing with them, do not want to pinch your fingers in between them, because you probably won't be able to get them apart, and you probably want to have someone in 